welcome to the channel. This is James in Nashville, and this will be my review on World Beyond Season 2, Episode 9. So spoiler alert if you're not caught up. Dr. Bennett, Hope, Iris, Felix, we got Percy, we got the other scientist. They duped Jadis about going down in the tunnels. We talked about that, uh, I think, in the trailer of the last video. They told her they wanted two trucks, fueled, ready, let them get away. And Jadis is like, hey, you don't have any leverage. And they're like, yeah, we do. We got Major General Bill's son, Mason. So that's, whoa, Jadis is like, no, he left out on the transport. And they're like, no, we got him. So they do have leverage, but there were CRM soldiers down in the tunnels, and Leo and the crew blew them up, put some C4, some bombs on the walkers with the little uh, tracking devices, and used them to blow up the tunnels. Back at decontamination, Silas has brought Dennis, who's been shot badly in the stomach, and is trying to patch him up. Elton is there. They don't have all the medicine they need, but they were successful in getting the bullet out. They patch up Dennis, and they head out to continue the mission. They had collected a bunch of walkers, and uh, we threw out this theory, I think, last video or in the last trailer, and, yep, they're leading the walkers toward the facility. By now, a classic The Walking Dead move. And you know pretty much when a scene comes up between Iris and Percy of saying, you know, when this is all over, we're going to have kids and live in a house and, you know, raise a family. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. When a scene like that comes up, you know one of them's about to die. And Iris, I think, had some plot armor. So, Percy, sorry. You kind of knew Percy was going to bite the bullet once you saw this scene. Felix and Hope end up going down into Dr. Belshaw's old lab and stuff where they kept the gas frozen in the freezers. And when they got there, they're like, hey, the freezers aren't cold. The walkers are thawed out. And Hope did see Dr. Belshaw's walker chomping at her and she squishes her head in a door. But all the gas is gone. Jadis moved it. She figured out, hey, they're probably going to try to sabotage the gas. They found out about Omaha and Campus Colony and what we're going to do to Portland and so I need to move it. And so she did. So they couldn't blow it up. They had some C4. They were going to blow up all the gas so Portland couldn't get attacked. And that's about the time that Jadis hears the news that a big walker horde is coming. She checks out the binoculars and sees them coming. And that's when she says, hey, we got to hold the line or we could lose everything. So the walker horde that Silas brought toward the facility, definitely, definitely a game changer for everything going forward. So they still have Major Bill's son. They don't have the gas where they could blow it up. They're talking about looking for it. It's got to be somewhere. What do they do? Part of their plan isn't going to work. CRM's won and uh, Portland's going to die. So what do they do? All the while, Silas and Elton took a detour and said, hey, we're going to go get the medicine that Dennis needs from the facility. So they do that. But they get busted by Silas's friend that had worked with him at decontamination. Elton hits him over the head, they get away, they get the medicine, but right outside the door, walkers catch up with the guy and eat him up. So how does Silas and Elton get away? They roll away in that globe, metal, welded globe thing. I mean, you know, I was like, yeah, that's the craziest, stupidest thing as I was watching. But hey, it's a TV show, it's a zombie fantasy show, man. Anything can happen, whatever, cool, cool, that rolling globe thing, that was cool. And you just go with it. And then there's the standoff. They've got Bill's son. They got a gun pointed at him. They got guns pointed at the soldiers. Jadis is talking a lot, stalling to get a sniper in place. And she says a lot of stuff in this scene. A lot of stuff about how and why CRM maybe did that. About the r report they had and the research they did. The study on the society's falling and stuff like that. And I'm going to talk about that more in another separate video. Go into more detail of all the stuff that Jadis said here. But the tides turn, Mason tries to get away, and Percy ends up and gets shot. Uh, Huck, Jennifer, she shoots some of the guards, the soldiers, and points the gun at Jadis. Jadis is like, wrong move, girl, wrong move. And, you know, I thought Jadis kind of knew all along that she would do that, Jennifer would do that, and I still don't know for sure if Jadis did or not, or does, or what her game is, but from this scene... It really looks like Jadis is full-on CRM. But eventually everybody gets away. Jennifer drives off. The others get away. But Jadis at least ends up with Major Bill's son. Definitely a prize. Definitely something worth uh, capturing and saving. 
And even though all the crap that's went wrong and bad and stuff, Jadis can easily say it happened before I got here and it was underway when I got here. If I'd got here sooner, I could have stopped it. So she said a lot of stuff in the tent. She was talking to Major General Bill. And this is another conversation I'll go into deeper in a separate video. But if you look at the Walking Dead main show right now, and kind of a spoiler alert about Commonwealth, but the part about Eugene saving Sebastian from the walkers on his date uh, and being in such good rapport then with the leader of Commonwealth. Same thing here a little bit. Jada saved Major Bill's son. That's a big thing from the terrorist. That's huge. Even though a lot of stuff's going down bad, you lost the facility, you lost the information, you saved my son. So you're on the job, you're working it. This is a bad seed that Kublik had under her that she didn't see. So the blame may be pushed on the Kublik. Of course, the group split up and they didn't all go in the trucks and stuff like that. We know that part. And Leo and the scientist, there were spikes in the road. They got delayed. The truck behind them, though, those tires are okay. So some scientists went on around the spikes, but they're trying to change the tire. Felix is going to go try to help them. And around this time, Jennifer makes it back to decontamination and sees that Dennis has been shot. And you think, oh, it's Dennis dead. I thought, man, you're going to hear her growls and she's going to come around the corner and there's Dennis. But no, Dennis is alive. He opens his eyes and they talk and stuff. So Dennis, Dennis is breathing and alive at the moment. So that's cool. I like that character. And like I say, Felix went off to help Leo. So Hope and Iris were at the, I guess, rendezvous point. Silas and Elton, they make it and realize... Percy died, but also Huck, she goes outside and sees something. Hey, what's in all these big containers stacked up, refrigerated containers? Oh, it's the gas Jadis moved. So she radios Hope and's like, hey, you still got those explosives? So it looks like they may get to save Portland anyways, and I kind of thought they would somehow, some way, save Portland. And I hope Portland becomes a big um, character. Maybe in the movie or something, and we actually see Portland. I have a feeling, though, this is just a theory of mine, a prediction, that we may never see Portland. In the comic, we had a um, mention of a Western alliance. Uh, Eugene was building a railroad track, and uh, they were going to have connection then by railroad. So Portland may become what's known as the Western uh, community or Western alliance partner in the future, maybe in the movies or something, and we may not ever even visit Portland or see Portland. Just hear about it. But overall, I thought it was a good episode. The finale coming up. I hope they end it uh, not on a cliffhanger and uh, reasonably well, uh, where it makes sense. Maybe a mystery where we have to watch something else to figure it out, like the movies or something. But I do hope it ends well. I'm excited about it. Stay tuned for some more videos going more in-depth into the episode on those conversations and stuff. And hey, you guys let me know what you think about the episode down in the comments below. And I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.